Hi everyone, I just wanted to come in with this quick video clip from the Cineworld bankruptcy that I've been following for the NCMI bankruptcy hearing since there's sort of a conflict between the two companies while they're both in the middle of bankruptcy. But that's kind of a separate issue. What I'm really wanting to talk about though is that in the Cineworld bankruptcy there is a person who sent a letter to the judge trying to get a shareholder committee formed for the shareholders and I wanted to show this clip it's not very long I think of like 11 or 12 minutes I wanted to show it because I want people to know the inherent risks of being in a company that is in bankruptcy or about to go into bankruptcy and the very real likelihood that once it reaches that point you're done and that unless you're lucky enough to be in one of the few companies like a Hertz where they come out of this situation and shareholders are mostly fine um, that's just not usually the case so I'm going to go ahead and post this clip for you guys and uh, that's uh, just what this video is if that's not your thing cool but I just kind of wanted to give some insight to the bankruptcy proceedings for shareholders, especially retail shareholders who aren't as familiar with these kinds of proceedings. And for a status conference from a shareholder, let me get my computer back on. And I failed to call it. My case manager reminded me. This is Mr. Kamal's letter. Mr. Kamal, if you will press five star one time on your phone, please. All right, Mr. Kamal, good afternoon. Mr. Kamal, are you able to hear me? Mr. Kamal, do we have you on the phone at this point? All right, Mr. 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 Kamal, good, uh, good afternoon, sir. Are you able to hear me? Mr. Kamal. Do we have someone from London on the phone? 447. All right, who do we have on the phone? I'm sorry, I missed hearing that. Could you repeat that, please? Good afternoon. Yeah, All right, I apologize for failing to call you a few moments ago. Did you want to address the court regarding a shareholders committee? Uh, yes, um, I wanted to um, request a shareholder committee um, to be appointed. All right. The the reasons given in your letter would not end up prevailing in a motion to get a shareholders committee because they wouldn't meet the requirements of the law for when we appoint one. And the reason I didn't want to just deny it was I wanted the opportunity to talk to you in case you believed that you could in fact meet the legal requirements for getting a shareholders committee. And so that is why I wanted you to be able to connect in. Okay. The, I'm sorry, I didn't understand that. So in order to get a shareholders committee appointed, shareholders would be required in the vast majority of instances to demonstrate that there is equity so that shareholders would in fact be in the money in a case. And in this case, it appears that the creditors will not be paid in full. You have the right to disagree with that factually, 
and to try and prove that there would be money at the end of the day to pay to shareholders. But without any reasonable prospect of that, it is very unlikely that you could prevail on a shareholder's motion. And so really by putting into your motion how vulnerable shareholders are and the things that you put in with you know the huge declines that you mention in your letter generally demonstrates the opposite of whether shareholders would be in the money. Under both U.S. law and I believe the laws of, of most countries, creditors have to be paid before equity owners can be paid. And so unless there is enough value in Cineworld to pay creditors in full, it's almost impossible to imagine why shareholders should get paid because you bought the high-risk security as you identify in your letter. So I wanted to tell you that and I wanted to tell it to you directly. If you believe that you should in fact have a shareholders committee for whatever reason, if you think I'm wrong on the law uh, or if you think I'm right on the law, but in fact shareholders are in the money, then you are entitled as a shareholder to file a formal motion to get a shareholders committee. You will need to allege in the motion sufficient facts for whatever you believe the law is that would justify such a committee. And right now your letter doesn't do that but you're free to try again with another letter. I would encourage you, if this is something that you believe that you are correct on, to retain an attorney. I've got several dozen attorneys here in court watching what's happening, so whatever you do, you'll be up against a group of attorneys. I have appointed shareholders committees before. This isn't something that never occurs, but I will tell you that I've been here since 2004 and I believe I've appointed fewer than six shareholders committees, something like that. So they're not very common. But I am not going to stand in your way if you want to file a formal motion to do it. But I wanted to have this conference, let you talk to me now if you want, but I wanted to be pretty direct with you. Is there anything you would like to add or say at this point? Um. I, I'm sorry, tell me again. I am um, go by your word. All right. Well, I appreciate your doing that. If you change your mind and you want to file a formal motion, please feel free to do so. And again, I apologize that I failed to call you earlier. That was simply my oversight. Okay, thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Thank you for dialing in. Oh, we are now in recess. No, that is it. Thank you.